Hello everyone. So a warm welcome to all the viewers and intellectuals as well as judges. So here goes our paper that is question answering AI system using SCORE which is 161 with ID. So let me introduce to our team. We are from Institute KKWA Polytechnic Nasik and our names are Akshata Bidwe, Arafat Shay and myself Vedant Savan. So let's have the contents of today's conference. At first we'll be having introduction, then literature survey will be discussed, then existing system, concept and design, functional requirements, applications and this will end up with conclusion and bibliography. So let me ask you one question. Have you ever noticed uh, how do you get a specific answer when you search a question on Google? Let's have example. So here I have the Google search engine and I'm typing question that where was Sir APJ Abdul Kalam born? And whenever I'm going to search this question, the result are showing that is Rameshwaram at the top of screen from whole context. That is one of the specific answer. So by forgetting the solution, Google uses an high qualified algorithm that is BERT. So I would like to invite Arafat. He will be giving you introduction of the paper. Thank you, Vedant. Now let me give you a brief introduction to the topic. So as we are living in the 21st century, everyone needs to answer to any question from a huge data on fingertips. Our system is to make a computer program that could answer questions in natural language, which can be achieved using SCORE that is Stanford question answering data set which will include questions asked by humans from the given comprehension. The project specially aims at the creation of a system using BERT. Here BERT as you all know is an algorithm by Google which is bidirectional encoder representations from transformers where the user can input a question from the passage of text containing the answer then the span of text corresponding to that text will get highlighted and the user will get the most relevant answer. BERT is a computational model BERT is a computational model that converts words into numbers. This process is crucial because machine learning models take in numbers as inputs. So as an algorithm that converts words into numbers allows you to train machine learning models on your originally textual data. In response to the shortcomings of the previous question answering data set, Stanford question answering data set was invented in 2016 utilizing questions generated from 536 Wikipedia articles. So question answering is at the heart of natural language processing and is composed of two sections, reading comprehension and answer selection. Hence we concluded that BERT model is superior in all aspects of answering various types of questions. Now let me tell you some early research in this field. The first QA system, baseball, was developed in 1961 to answer questions related to the baseball game which was played by US and it was a closed domain QA. The second system, Lunar, was developed in 1971 to answer questions regarding the Apollo moon mission. Lunar helps geologists to get an easy accessing, comparing and evaluating of the data sets of chemical analysis of lunar rocks and soil. Likewise, we studied different researches made in this field and also explored several other neural networking approaches. Also, many authors designed an emphatic non-factorial QA by using the data set Wikica, which is an old version data set. And as these systems used an old version of algorithm, hence their accuracy was also low. Now let's check out the existing system. If we talk about the research, then natural language processing is the highest research in the field of artificial intelligence. One of the founding fathers of artificial intelligence, Alan Turing, one of the founding fathers of artificial intelligence, Alan Turing, suggested this as a possible application for the learning machines. He imagined this early in the late 1940s. The world has moved on since the days of these early pioneers and today we use NLP solutions without even realizing it. We live in an era during dreamt of AI. Certain turning points in the history change the field forever. In the past one had to read a complete comprehension to find specific answers which was time consuming. Specific answers were not retained and the percentage of correct answers was low. These existing systems need to be overcome with the use of BERT algorithm which provides a linguistic answer to the user. Henceforth, BERT algorithm can be used in these embedded systems. Now Vedant will take you to the deep structure of concept. Thank you. So, yes. So, hello, hello. as you all know what is BERT and Stanford, that is a squad data set. So, as you can see on the screen, uh, there is the block structure. 
at first user will enter the query that is a question and then in the middle of the block the search engine will do its work that is the re uh, document retrieval will be done and at the end user will get an output that is the specific answer yes so let's understand this step wise Uh, stepwise manner. At first, input from user will be taken. So there are two things user will going to input. One of it is a paragraph, that is a context, and another one is a question. So user has to ask a question from that paragraph. The second thing, the model, what model will be doing is model will divide the context, that is a paragraph entered by user into different sentences. So how this will be done is whenever the model finds the full stop, the model will give another token to every single word. Now let's understand with this paragraph. We have the paragraph of Sir APJ Abdul Kalam and the model has given every uh, token to every single word. Now here, in case of our paragraph, Abdul will be getting one token, Kalam with two token, was with three. Similarly, every single word will get a token. One thing here important is, the, to uh, the tokenization will be followed in a similar manner. As you can see in the second sentence, the word was is repeated. So the same index uh, is given to the was word. At the third step, uh, it will find the span of suitable answer and then it will display at the end. So this is the block diagram. As I told, uh, user will be logged in first, that is it will be authenticated whether the uh, user is a human being or a robot. And then user will be having two options. Uh, adding context and question and then at the end we will be using squad data set as he have told and the squad data set will be retrieved the answer and the solution will be displayed at the end now uh, Akshata will give you other details of the project thank you Vedan uh, now uh, as this is the uh, academic project and we are still in a development process we will uh, see in the functional requirements. Uh, if we see the hardware requirements, then a good processor core i3, uh, 2 GB RAM with 64 bit OS will be required. Coming to the software requirements, we will be using Anaconda, which is the distribution of the Python programming language. Uh, next is Visual Studio, which is ID by Microsoft. Uh, we will be using some Flask libraries like uh, Python. Uh, JSON template namespace and other will be used. This was about the requirements. Now here, uh, here, here is the application. First is, this system can be used for a variety of NLP tasks such as text classification or sentence classification. Many of the organizations can use this system as it saves time. As it is latest technology on neural network developed by Google and it is so, it is so accurate so it can be used in search engines, chatbots, predefined assistants, and many more applications. Now we are at the end of the presentation. Uh, let's have a references of the system. We both over some IEEE research papers. Like